I have one surefire tip that if you apply this to your life, I swear, and this is to piggyback on my last video, I swear, if you apply this and test it out, even over the next week, you're gonna see a difference in everything you do, whether it's your workouts or something that you need to do at work or personal goals you have, finance goals, whatever it is, apply what I'm talking to you about today because it is something that I have started doing. I just, I caught myself like going through the motions like in my brain as I was doing my workout this afternoon and, and as I pushed through it and, and did stuff I didn't think I could do, I realized like this is what I never used to do. And, and this is such a, like so many things, this is such a simple, but yet truly profound practice. And I think that's true of so many things in life. There's so many things in life that we can have, you know, I mean, have you ever read a book and then you read it two years later and it just all of a sudden has meaning for you? Um, or you might hear a phrase and you hear it again and again and again, it doesn't mean anything until maybe a certain speaker explains it a certain way and then all of a sudden they, they break through to you. Well. I hope that you're gonna get something out of what I'm gonna to share today. I also hope my dog doesn't start barking like crazy. Bijan, don't. Anyway, <laughs> my husband's gonna call. <laughs> Go see daddy. So anyway, let me explain to you first what I was doing in my workout because this is absolutely not the video I plan to upload today, but we're just gonna go with it. Easy going Kelly today, <laughs> it's a Monday. So um, I'm up doing my workout in our workout room and um, I'm gonna actually link below because uh, I'm gonna link below to the, um, can't talk, the blog post I did on kellyalexa.com on some of the new workouts I've been doing much different than the types of workouts. If you guys have been tuning into my YouTube channel for a while, you know that I used to be much more of a gym rat, hardcore, you know, heavy lifting type, and there's nothing against that. I'm just not into that right now. And I'm just starting to really get my workout groove back again. It's honestly, this is so weird for me to say this, it's been about two years since I've been regularly and consistently working out. And coming from me, like fitness fanatic Kelly Alexa, that sounds so crazy. But I was in a reverse diet for about nine to 10 months. And in that reverse diet period, I had to intentionally, you know, my trainer was telling me I had to scale back my working out. This has to do with adrenal fatigue. And then I went keto and more so because I was experiencing a lot of migraines, I have PTSD. Um, I just had a lot of times where I couldn't work out and then when I would be finished, like I'd have a migraine episode for about a week and then when I would finish with the migraine episode, I'd be so scared to work out because I'd be scared a lot of times when I would work out, this is what would happen. I would do a workout and then that would trigger another like really bad headache or, or a migraine again and so I got to the point where I got kind of scared to work out so really the whole time I was keto that I was losing all that weight, um, I really surprisingly didn't, didn't do it with hardly any working out, which is gonna be interesting because now that I'm back to keto, um, it's gonna be interesting to see how my body responds now that I'm working out um, and, and so on and so forth. That's a, a, another subject. We'll talk about all of my updates. I had a really great consult with my doctor today I'll update you guys on that um, in videos that are coming up later this week. But, so I start my workout. Um, I'm gonna link to my blog post today down below so you guys can see the types of workouts that I'm loving right now. But I was doing my form workout and she was doing some of these, these moves at the end and they were ab moves, core moves. And I don't know about you, but there's, there's this, there was this time period, particularly when I was heavier, that if anybody put up any kind of um, ab moves or core moves, um, I didn't, first of all, back then, uh, sorry, my hair's falling all over the place. I didn't wanna do ab moves because I just didn't like to um, focus on my core because that's where I was holding most of my, my weight. 
and I just, I didn't want to focus on my core, I didn't want to look at my core, I didn't want to do sit-ups and be like looking at my belly budge, <laughs> belly pudge, excuse me. So I avoided doing any kind of um, like core workout, sit-ups, crunches, anything like that, because I just, it was avoidance, right? It was not denial, but it's just avoidance. And a lot of times that's what we do. When we don't like something, we avoid it. We avoid looking at our checking account because we don't want to see the balance. We avoid looking at our credit cards. We avoid looking at our weight on the scale. We avoid measuring ourselves. We avoid taking progress photos. We avoid things that we don't want to face. And so I used to always avoid doing core moves for that reason. But in this case, she had a cup, she was doing like a set of five minutes at the end of this workout. And she does what she calls burner sets at the ends of a lot of her workouts where it's five minutes of just 30 seconds of this core move after 30 seconds of this core move after 30 seconds of this core move. And she was introducing a couple of these core moves. And the first thing I thought, cause I hadn't seen this was like, oh, I can't do that. You know, and I was just like in my head going, I can't do that move for e either. It was like, I'm not going to be able to physically do it. You know, I'll, I'll fall or, or it's going to be too hard for me or, you know, I'm too tired at this point in my workout or, or whatever. But, you know, there were multiple thoughts at different, there were two or three moves that she put up that I'm like, oh, I can't do that. And. And then immediately in my head, and this is the point I wanna get across to you, because it is human nature to automatically go, I can't do that. I, there's no way I can do that. How many of you have said that? If you're here at this point in the video and you have said that, leave it in the comments below about anything. How many of you have heard yourself say or thought in your head sometime in the last month, there's no way I could do that. There's no way I could go keto. There's no way I could lose, you know, the weight that that woman's lost or that guy's lost. There's no way I could do CrossFit. There's no way I could run a marathon. There's no way I could do this. Well, guess what? Pretty much everybody who's ever done any of those things that you're saying, there's no way I could do that, said that. There's no way I could do a figure competition. There's no way I could get on stage in a bikini and compete at age 50. There's no way that I could, you know, be slimmer than my high school weight at past the age of 30. There's no way I could get my body back after, after having, you know, five kids. There's no way I could run a marathon. I've never run. I've never run more than around the block. I've never been able to run or figure out how to breathe. That was my story. I used to say, I, I can't run. I, I don't know how to run because I didn't know how to breathe. Then I figured out how to breathe and I learned to love running and I ended up running a 5K and I almost ran a half marathon. But then I, <laughs> I figured out I just didn't like training. <laughs> There's a lot of things like that that I figured out about myself. I wanted to go to law school, but I just didn't like studying for the LSAT. So there's <laughs> There's things, there's probably a lot of hidden things, statements that makes about me. Um, but again, so I get to this point in my workout and these tough things come up and my brain immediately goes, I can't do that. And what I know now, because I've incorporated this tip that I'm teaching you guys or that I'm passing on to you guys, I don't feel like I need to teach it to you. I'm just reinforcing this with you because I'm telling you, if you take what I'm giving it to you and you take this spoonful of medicine and you apply it, it really can make such a difference because it was my nature to be in that workout and go, I can't do that. And then I was just gonna be like, well, I'll just stop the workout right now. I'm not gonna do this stuff. I used to do that all the time. So let's just talk about in the, in the context of fitness. You know, I used to get to parts of workouts that I didn't want to do. And sometimes it was, I thought I can't do it, but sometimes it was just, I thought I, I don't have time. I, I don't, I can't, I can't do a stretch right now. I don't have time. I, I can't, I don't have time for this. I, I don't have time for this. And you convince yourself, I can't do this. I can't do that. And so you, you cut things out and, and you convince yourself that you can't do things. I, I can't, I can't work out and get all my work done. I can't, take a break for lunch, or I won't be able to get my work done. I can't, um, you know, I have to eat at my desk. I can't break for lunch. I'll never finish all my work. I can't do that ab work. I'll never be able to do that move. Guess what? She was doing this one move that was like um, downward dog with a weight. You, you put a weight. I'm sure I'm not gonna be able to describe this very well or articulately to you. You put a weight in between your, 
your push-up hands, you're so in your downward dog, and then you take the one weight and you cross your body and kind of like reach back and crunch it to your opposite leg. Then you bring it back up and you, what did you do after that? <laughs> you take that weight, you crunch it back to your, your thing and then you, you put your hand back down and then you crunch your leg up. And then you take your other hand, you pick up the weight, you crunch it back. So you're basically like working your core. Um, but I just remember thinking like, there's no way I'd be able to reach all the way back there. Guess what? The second I lifted that weight up, I was able to do it like flawlessly. But before I did it, I had convinced myself, oh, there's no way I could do that. So here's what I'm saying to you. And I, I just remember thinking, I've got to do a video about this because this is what all of us do. We say, just like I said two seconds ago, there's no way I could do CrossFit. There's no way I could run. There's no way I could run a marathon. There's no way that I could do keto. I hear that all the time. There's no way I could do keto. You know, I love, you know, but I can't, I can't, I, I, I like to drink, so there's no way I could do keto. Like people don't even look into things that they, they think they have an inkling to do. They just say, there's no way I can do it. Well, guess what? Pretty much anything that you're going to say, there's no way I can do that or I can't. If you find yourself saying I can't do it, I just dare you in your brain from now on to start going, why am I saying that? And then if it's, if it's a workout, if it's something, whatever, look into it, try it because you probably can and you probably will surprise yourself and you'll probably blow your mind and end up loving it. Pretty much everything over the past three or four years, I certainly know this is true since I've met my husband. Like everything that I've said that I was gonna try that I thought I wouldn't like, I've ended up really liking. Whether it's like Tracy Anderson workouts. I used to make fun of Tracy Anderson all the time. I'm embarrassed now because they're such badass workouts. And they knocked me on my feet. The first time I did a beginner workout, I was on the floor. And I used to be the one going, oh my God, Miss Tracy Anderson with her pink two pound dumbbells. Guess what? Her two pound dumbbells kicked my ass. So, um, it, there's a guy walking his dog right outside my window, probably looking inside like, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so this is really, like I said, that's my, that's my message is think, of, think about it. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments because this was like a really, really big self-limiting, self-sabotaging behavior of mine. And as simple as it was for me in my workout to go, okay, I just told myself I can't do this move. Boom, got into, the, uh, got into my downward dog, did the move. And then because I did that move, I did the next move. And then I did the next move. There have been so many things where I've been in a workout and I'm just using the workout stuff for context here to, to use these as examples where I've said, oh, I can't, there's no way I can do it. I told you, I, I said, I used to think I, could, I couldn't run because every time I would try to run, this was right out of college, I'd get cramps every time I would run. Guess what? I just didn't know how to breathe. So once somebody showed me how to breathe, then, and that I needed to hydrate too, duh, um, then I learned that I loved running. I still love running. I might start running again. Um, and you know what? I am very intimidated by the idea of doing CrossFit. I don't really see myself maybe trying um, CrossFit right now just because of the kind of training I'm doing. I'm really liking like all of this like Pilates, and I'm really doing a lot more yoga now and stuff. So like, that's the polar opposite of, but at, if I was like in my younger time period and, and I was saying to myself, oh, I could never do CrossFit. I would totally get into CrossFit right now, but that's just not, it's not pulling me in that direction. So um, I just really honestly encourage you to think about all the areas in your life. I mean, and this could be the smallest, this could be something in your job. I could never ask for a promotion. I could never ask for a raise. I could never ask for this. Anytime you find yourself saying I could never, that's a big flashing red sign for you that this is your opportunity for change. This is your opportunity to do something different and your life will go in a much better path if you listen. Like that's, that's like a big, huge red. See, Bijan is like coming in here to reinforce what I'm saying, right? He's okay, babe. Anyway, <sighs> Bijan, come here. No, he wants to say hi, Bijan. Bijan, come here. Oh, see, now he's not gonna come. <gasps>
that's all I have to say, you guys. Um, like I said, this was not what I planned on talking about today. Is he gonna come back? Go make dinner? Um, so I will um, let my dog go out back. <laughs> um, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, it really is so, so simple. I don't claim that this is anything like, like I'm a rocket science, but it, re it really, really, really is something. If you apply this, can make such a huge difference. Please forgive my dog, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>